Well, Henry Ruggs did post bail, but we haven't seen him leave from here, the Clark County Detention Center, just yet. In court this morning, we learned that he could face up to 46 years in jail. After that initial court appearance, I spoke with the district attorney who appeared pretty fired up, saying he doesn't care who you are. If you commit a felony DUI like this one, he will make sure that they seek justice. Former Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs wheeled into court wearing a neck brace Wednesday morning after police say he caused a fatal crash. This is a very tragic and sad day in this community. A woman lost her life. Uh, another person perhaps lost his career and is perhaps going to prison. We were in the courtroom when prosecutors dropped the shocking news that just minutes before the crash, Ruggs was driving 156 miles per hour on Rainbow in his Chevy Corvette. He veered right, slamming into a Toyota RAV4 from behind. I, I cannot recall a, a speed uh, that high in, in my career on the bench. Fox 5 obtained the arrest report. It says the impact launched both cars over 500 feet down the road, causing the Toyota to catch fire. Witnesses heard screams coming from that car but couldn't reach the driver because of the flames. That driver, 23-year-old Tina Tinter and her dog, both killed in the fire. Her family also in court Wednesday morning. The family's torn apart as anybody would be. This was a terrible, terrible collision. In court, we heard that a blood test given to Ruggs two hours after the crash showed his BAC at .161. That's more than twice the legal limit. Since 2013, the National Football League Players Association has contracted with various rideshare services specifically to provide free rideshares availability to their membership specifically to prevent tragedies such as this. Ruggs could face a reckless driving charge and two counts of felony DUI, one for the woman who was killed, another for his passenger, his girlfriend, who was also hurt. But more could be coming after officers found a loaded gun in his car. Well, the minimum would be two years, the maximum would be 46. And that could increase depending on whether we file an additional charge involving the gun. Ruggs posted his $150,000 bond. Prosecutors initially pushed for a $1 million release. The defense getting that lowered with the former football player's spotless record. His background is impeccable. When he came to Las Vegas, Your Honor, he immediately contributed to the community. He's been working with Three Square. He works with charities at home in Montgomery, Alabama. Comes from a very close-knit family. Has five brothers. Never been in trouble. The district attorney made it clear that charges haven't been filed yet. Those will be coming next week. Ruggs will have to wear an electric monitor to ensure that he isn't drinking alcohol. He'll have to give up his passport and he also won't be allowed to drive. I'll continue to follow the developments and bring you more as we learn the latest. Reporting live, Sophia Paracone, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.